wreaths have been laid and a silence observed at a memorial service to remember the 270 people killed in the Lockerbie bombing 30 years ago. A representative of the Queen laid the first tribute during the service at Dreifsdale Cemetery in the town. The event was attended by families of the victims, politicians and local community groups. Eleven people died in Lockerbie along with the 259 passengers and crew on board the New York-bound Pan Am Flight 103 when it came down on the night of 21 December 1988. Jeff Brown, the moderator of the Presbytery of Annandale and Eskdale, led the service. Whether you have come from the local community or from afar, whether you come with no faith, little faith or belong to a community of faith, know that the Lockerbie community welcomes you in love and peace today and every day, he said. Prayers were read and a series of silences held before wreaths were laid at the base of a memorial containing the names of all those killed. The Queen's representative, the Lord Lieutenant for Dumfresher, Fiona Armstrong, laid the first tribute as a piper played. She was followed by Scotland's Lord Advocate, James Wolfe QC and the Scottish Secretary, David Mundell. Pupils from local schools, scouts and guides groups and representatives of the emergency services laid flowers before the families of victims approached the memorial. Mundell, who is from the town, said before the service, on this 30th anniversary of the bombing of Flight 103 over Lockerbie, my thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of the 270 men, women and children who perished on that terrible night, and everyone else whose life has been touched by the event. Lockerbie lost its anonymity that night. We went from a quiet small town to a center of global attention in a few seconds. That was the scale of the challenge local people have faced aside from the horrors of the air disaster itself. It has not been easy, nor have we been able to achieve the closure we would have wanted, even after 30 years, 